He's won over $11 million in prize money, over 4,000 victories. His name is Alex Solis, and you're watching him here on Show Jumping Unplugged TV. Up next. Welcome back to Show Jumping Unplugged. I'm Tamara Peterson, and we are here in the beautiful Del Mar. We're taking a little bit of break from the show jumping today to take you to the races. We're so lucky to have jockey Alex Solis here with us. Thank you. Thank you so much for coming. Well, thank you for having me on your show. Uh-huh. So listen, we're going to talk to this one because he's got some show jumping stories for us. But let's get to know him a little bit first. So tell us a little bit about maybe how long you've been racing, and, and I know you've got some pretty impressive career stats. Uh, yes, I've been racing for 24 years. Um, I have won uh, over 4,500 races. Oh. Um, have probably some 20 some titles uh, wow. in, in the United States. Yeah. It's uh, been very fortunate. Oh, fantastic. And tell me about this. Do you have a favorite racetrack? I know this is ours, but do you have a favorite one? Well, uh, to be honest with you, Delmar is one of my favorite racetracks in, in the world. Um, it's, uh, it's a great crowd in, in San Diego. So and, I hear that your favorite restaurant is my favorite restaurant, Donovan's. Oh, okay. <laughs> so, awesome. you got to try it. Uh -huh. One of the best steak places that I've been to. Donovan's Chop okay. House. We love it. <laughs> yep. So I hear that you have a show jumping story to tell us. Oh boy. Um, <laughs> yeah, when I was uh, 17, um, I was down in uh, Florida, that's what I, what I uh, was racing after I moved from Panama. Um, and I lived right next to a jumper place. Uh, and, uh, and I had a friend of mine that had two horses there, and I, uh, he wanted me to try. And uh, I, um, I thought myself, okay, I'll give it a try. And uh, you know, I always enjoy because I live right next to it, so I always see the guy jumping and it looks so easy. Well, I was going to say, so you've been riding horses at this point for a while, and that was like, oh, nothing for you. Yeah, um, you go 40 miles per hour, what else did, they, did exactly. it happen? <laughs> but it was uh, a little uh, different than I expected that I went to jump a little, I don't know, this high, whatever it is, and, uh, and it was a little weird, and then put the bar a little higher, and after that I said, that's it, I can't do it. <laughs> How can you do that? You go 40 miles per hour, and you... I said, well, it's different. It's it just like riding races, you know. It's so yeah. easy for me because I know how to do it, especially for the guys that are professional. Yeah. They make it look so easy, but it takes a lot more. And, and with uh, all that saddle under you, you know, all that, that big jumping saddle compared to what you guys ride in. It's just like riding races, you know. You have to be in rhythm with the horse. And uh, at that time, obviously, I wasn't in rhythm. <laughs> oh, no. So did you ever try it again, or that was it? Swore it off. That was uh, my beginning of my career in my end. <laughs> oh, fantastic. Well, listen, we're going to let Alex go because I know that he's got a couple races to get ready for. But thank you so much for joining us today on Show Jumping Unplugged. It was really fun. And we will see you soon, so stay tuned. I'm Paul Peterson for Show Jumping Unplugged TV, right here, right now. Visit us on the web at www.showjumpingunplugged.tv. We're the best in sport. Tune in each week as we bring you the very best. We'll see you next time.